Do you feel like you're responsible for Erica eating off of Love and Hip Hop right now? But you know that they wanted me first and I turned it down. Ask yourself that question. Uh uh-uh. uh. What the why am I in it? <laughs> you know, Scrap said that he wanted to bring her on board, you know, on the show, up and getting some coins in her pocket. That's fine. Child, I'm here for everyone pulling a Cat Williams on us this 2024 and deciding to speak truths. And Diamond is not holding back on whatever shenanigans are going on between her, Scrappy, Bambi, and Erica Dixon. I, at this point, the gloves is off because I'm not going to keep letting y'all play with me. I don't start nothing, so I'm not going to let Erica Dixon or anybody tarnish that. Obviously, this entire drama has been dragging on for years. And based on what's happening now, it looks like we are going to be talking about it for many years to come. As far as timelines, Scrappy and Diamond dated before his marriage to Bambi, but their relationship ended after she allegedly cheated on him with Soldier Boy in 2011. Erica also dated Scrappy in the mid-2000s. I'm not exactly sure when, but Diamond insists that Erica was the original side chick. Since then, it's just been one hell of a messy web with Bambi and Erica as well. Of course, you know that after splitting from Bambi, Scrappy and Erica reignited their friendship, despite their previous public and very messy fallout. Also, despite both denying a romantic reconnection, fans are skeptical, cause beyond their on-screen collaboration, they've been spotted vacationing together, and even snagging front row seats at Usher's Vegas residency. They've also blended their families, arranging playdates for Erica Dixon's twins and Scrappy's three children with Bambi. Adding more drama, Scrappy's interactions with Diamond coincide with his time spent with Erica in the trailer for Love & Hip Hop Atlanta. Diamond actually hints at potential intimacy between her and Scrappy, expressing concern about cross-contamination between the three. Oh no, he was that real good. That Yours? Yeah, so want to make sure we didn't cross-contaminate. Honey, I don't know if this whole drama is just a storyline for Love & Hip Hop, but Diamond is already giving us the front row seats. Basically, Diamond was on the Carlos King show talking about how she is the reason why Erica got a role on Love & Hip Hop in the first place. According to Diamond, Erica has no motion and the story has been under renovation for ages and she's still not getting booked. The shade, y'all. The shade. And if you thought Diamond was just dropping bombshells about Erica's career, you are wrong. Homegirl even went deeper and talked about how Erica has always been the side chick. You was never the main chick. You was always number two. I got the ring first. Why are you so invested in your first baby daddy? You should be trying to figure out what's going on with your second baby daddy or why you had these kids knowing that he was in a relationship with a whole nother woman. It only gets messier from there, cause when Diamond was asked if she and Scrappy were back dating, she admitted that there was a time when they were kinda having fun, and she called it coloring outside and inside the lines. Like Scrappy was inside her lines. <clears throat> Trust Scrappy to give a comeback, cause he already commented on the video and said that Diamond was spilling all this tea because she was salty that she was not picked. And immediately after, Diamond responded by writing at Real Little Scrappy, let's correct that. I don't want you. Don't make me post receipts. Honey, that wasn't just a threat because Diamond went ahead and actually posted the receipts where Scrappy was actually sliding into her DMs and wanting to hook up. Exhibit A is a text on Christmas morning from Lil Scrappy to Diamond that read, Merry Christmas, baby. I love you. Enjoy your life. Be happy and love on your son and I got you something too, but be blessed. See you soon. Exhibit B was a video message attached to Exhibit A. Just want to say Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas with your beautiful face. You feel me? Blanca, Blanca, say Merry Christmas. Say Merry Christmas, Dada. Merry Christmas, Dada. You know, just taking it in, man. Just taking it in. It's going to be all right. God got us. I woke up shot for me and you. Bless you, baby. Love you. Be blessed. Exhibit C is a text exchange where Diamond appears to be upset about the video of Lil Scrappy and Erica Dixon in a pool together. In the text exchange, Diamond starts by saying, this is why I left you 10 years ago and never looked back because of this issue doing now. Scrappy then told Diamond, I know you're not trying to talk to me, but I wanted to know if I could take Princeton with me and Bree to smack down on my B-Day. To that, Diamond responded by saying, as long as it was clear to Scrappy that they would not be messing around and then said, but you definitely can take Princeton with you and Bree. I don't feel like I would mistreat my child 
child. I personally wouldn't be surprised that Scrappy was trying to hook up with Diamond while still being together with Erica. Remember, after Scrappy and Bambi got divorced, it looked like Scrappy and Diamond were openly together, and he even gave her a shout out saying, Diamond, aka Dada, my it's 4L with us, Jack. My heart was broken and my spirit was depleted, but I still had strength, and the one person who I thought I would never came and helped me get right mentally, was telling me great things about me that I even forgot I had or was. Before we knew it, Scrappy ditched Diamond and was all over Erica and even openly talked about getting married. Who said we not married? Somebody said we, never mind. Let me just yeah, be quiet. Yeah, come along. That girl ain't slow. You can't talk to slow people. It's slow people. We married. Shut up, Scrappy. But as it seems, Diamond never left the chat. Sometime in August 2023, Diamond took to her Instagram account to share a short clip of her eating breakfast and then revealed that the person who made the breakfast was Scrappy. In addition, as soon as the videos of Erica and Scrappy circulated online, Diamond posted a photo of Scrappy's back as he is seen sitting on the edge of her bed, slightly covered in crumpled bed sheets. In short, Diamond was trying to communicate that Scrappy had spent the night with her. She also posted private text messages that he sent her, revealing several opportunities where they attempted to meet up. So if we're talking about Scrappy wanting to hook up with Diamond, I don't doubt that for a second. Well, let's just say that Erica wasn't the only one receiving all the bullets, because as we are all aware, this has been a love rectangle and not a triangle. Diamond was also questioned about Bambi, and when she was asked whether she had any relationship with Bambi, once again, she laid it all on the ground for us. <laughs> This whole home wrecker and all this other narrative that she went around with, girl, when we were together and we was in the same house and we was trying to figure it out, apparently you was in the mix. Is it true that when you and Scrappy were living together that Bambi went into the house and she was one of the women that he was cheating on you with? But yeah, it was my house. And Erica came over there as well. Erica was where as well? Doing what exactly? Child. Anyway, if there's one thing that has been made clear, it's that everyone was in the mix throughout. In fact, y'all remember that when Scrappy's marriage to Bambi fell apart, it was assumed that the final straw might have been interference from Mama D. But Bambi set the record straight, and she alleged that Scrappy cheated on her with Diamond. Now, at first, Scrappy denied sleeping with Diamond when he was with Bambi, but there were receipts showing text messages of him inviting Diamond to his hotel room when he was still together with Bambi. Later on, Scrappy admitted he was only going to Diamond to get the things Bambi didn't give him. And he went on to say that Bambi's job as a wife was to make him feel like that guy, but she wasn't doing that, but Diamond did. Now with Erica seemingly being with Scrappy, Diamond is still in the mix, but this time she's making it clear that she no longer wants Scrappy. But you know what? Erica is also not just taking everything lying down. She responded to Diamond's interview by posting a GIF, basically calling Diamond a HOE. And Diamond responded to the comment by calling her the same name and implied that Erica was the side chick by adding hashtag number two. Erica's daughter Imani also chimed in to defend her mom and told Diamond, you were just texting me being apologetic about disrespecting my mom. In response, Diamond was like, my apology was about you being upset at me for getting your mom's ass about stepping on me. I understand you have to stand up for your mother and I love you always. In another comment, Erica responded to someone who said that Diamond was not being disrespectful by writing. Ain't nothing true about what she's speaking though. Fact check before you respond. What are the facts, Miss Erica? Sounds like Erica is in fact sounding a deep warning for Diamond to come correct. And I personally can't wait to see how this drama unfolds. But what are your thoughts? Who was the original side chick? And what are your thoughts on Diamond doing that explosive interview shading Erica, Bambi, and Scrappy? Sound off in the comments section below.